Okay, and now the concluding remarks by Professor Vandelli, Caliceti, and Fresta. Thank you. We are at the end of this uh, workshop. For uh, us, is a particular day. For CRS, is a particular day. And um, so we want to uh, dedicate this workshop uh, to Didi Sangalli. And uh, um, for uh, all us, uh, it's due, uh, I, I think for the, the, the work that, uh, and the, for ideas that uh, I had of uh, CRS. Uh, I want, uh, as a final remark, uh, uh, congratulate all uh, the speakers for the high quality of the presentations and also uh, all the participants uh, in uh, these three days for the um, uh, interesting uh, discussion friendly discussion and uh, also for fruitful discussion. And um, now I pass the floor to Massimo for the CRS conclusion and after to our uh, colleague, that, uh, or Marco, that uh, speak about uh, uh, his uh, uh, impressions. <laughs> okay. I think just the best way to start with Marco, because I think it represents uh, actually the, the, the soul of this kind of workshop in which the young component, the young scientist component is uh, really the, the heart, the pulsing heart of this workshop and all, all the other workshops that will be held and organized by CRS. And so I suppose that the survey of, and in your opinion, this kind of workshop uh, will be, I mean, uh, the most important topics uh, in this concluding remark. And so please, I invite you just to say to all of us, uh, really your opinion, the opinion of all of your colleagues. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is an honor, of course, for me, and for the final remarks. And of course, I would like to, to thank the organization committee. I think it has been everything perfect really uh, amazing, really very, very good. And so the hospitality of the, the city of Modena. And I, I, will, I would like to start with some uh, critics. May I just, well, actually it's uh, self-criticism. And because I was talking about that with some other colleagues, young colleagues, and we said, uh, we, we realized that we, we didn't do many, many questions. I mean, from, when I say we, I mean, PhD students, young scientists, and of course that's not for lack of um, interest because everything has been, I think, really very, very interesting. Uh, it's maybe for lack of experience, maybe because we are still a bit stuck to like, oh my God, <laughs> we are all professors and teachers, yeah, and it's only for that. and. I also would, would like to, to underline one thing that uh, always about these, let's say, critics. Uh, I would have liked to, to, to see uh, more presentations with data, with, same, with people saying um, we would, would have liked to do this, but we couldn't. We, we didn't manage to do that uh, because, I don't know, we don't have this instrument, we don't... Uh, we, can, we couldn't find this model or something. And I think in my, in my next presentation, if I will have again the opportunity to oh, do sure. something, something similar to like this, uh, I will surely put a slide or something with, with like help. I, I, need, I wanted to do this, but I couldn't because I'm often in this situation. And I think that's something to say just I need this instrument or uh, this kind of model. I would like to do this, but I don't know how. That's something uh, we shouldn't be afraid of. We, we shouldn't be ashamed of, of saying that. So um, but I also invite you to, to do the same. Uh, I, I would like to see more, sli more slides or more presentation with saying, I don't know how to do that. Uh, can you help me? And the, uh, yeah, and uh, another thing, I would like to underline the, the importance of the argument of the blue brain barrier because uh, we shouldn't forget the importance. is is not like a normal argument, the, the brain targeting, because sometimes I think there is the tendency to, um, 
to get lost uh, uh, in all the data we got or get blind by all the data we got and we, we lose the, the general sense of everything. And we, uh, I would say brain is the most important thing we, we got because even I couldn't find something um, more important, even my family or something. I, if I don't have a, a, um, the brain uh, um, in normal functionalities, uh, yeah, a working brain that could realize uh, everything that is happening all around me, is, is, I'm nothing. So, and we know that there are some diseases like Alzheimer's disease that uh, it happens, it could happen. And so I, I would like to underline that we have been talking in these two days about the most important thing we have. And uh, last thing, I, I would like to uh, underline and to, um, uh, yeah, to underline the approach we, we had because I, of course, I uh, don't have a lot of, of experience. This are the first experiences uh, in workshops or congresses. But I, um, I have seen uh, in some Congress and sometimes for, for, for the short experience I have, people standing up and saying, uh, I think, mm, I don't like this project, I think it doesn't work at all, I don't like it at all. Okay. And I think we should be more humble, like um, humilly, like mm, more humility, because in particular in this kind of argument, because I think even if the most ex expert in the world, somebody who read all the, the books about the argument, maybe he will know, I don't know, the 10% uh, of what we should know about the brain. So, um, I, what, and I didn't see these kind of, of, of things here because uh, I just saw many people, many people who just wanted to, uh, to understand and to know. Because I think I couldn't come here and say, I, I'm sure that this project will work because it's impossible to say that. And for the same reason, somebody couldn't stand up and say, it will not work because actually we don't know. And, but here, the atmosphere, the, uh, all the environment was completely different, very familiar. And so I think this is the, the right thing to do and this is the, we should go on in this direction. And that's all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for <laughs> your opinion. <laughs> Positive response, of course. Yeah, uh, positive, of course, and also the criticism uh, is uh, really important just to go on and to go on in the right way. And uh, I think the message of the, these uh, um, young colleagues is really important. Uh, just to form a kind of scientific network, or let me say a scientific spin-off, uh, that is uh, really important to improve our science, that in any case it was a really fantastic, a really high level, I agree, Mariangelo, on that. And um, what is, I mean, my point of view concerning this workshop and also the workshop that uh, will be organized, uh, is the fact that, uh, I mean, what is characteristic of this kind of workshop is the multidisciplinary approach, that is uh, really important. Uh, because we had in this workshop the opportunity to see the point of view of physicians, the point of view of pharmaceutical technologists, the point of view of pharmaceutical companies as well. And I think just to have this, uh, 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 this view, that is a really an overview of this, uh, uh, of this really important as an unknown problem, that is uh, just like the problem of the uh, targeting to the blown brain barrier is really important uh, because uh, uh, I think it's quite uh, uh, stupid and also uh, is, um, let me say, uh, is a narrow-minded view if we think that we can solve every, pro uh, every problem uh, uh, that we put, that we met in our research project by ourselves. Of course, we need a multidisciplinary approach. We need to have the opinion of physician and we have here in this workshop uh, some presentations, some lectures uh, carried out by physician. Of course, we need problems. Uh, normally, uh, speaking with uh, colleague, uh, colleagues of mine, 
Uh, I define, just like uh, all people working uh, in our uh, research field, engineer of pharmaceutical dosage form. And so, what is important for an engineer to have a problem? Because we know maybe how to solve a problem, or we can try to solve a problem, but we need problems. And just to know the problems, we need other point of view is the point of view of our, uh, I mean, of our scientific uh, community. And uh, of course, at the very end uh, of this uh, workshop, uh, I agree just for the dedication to the Sangalli and uh, also because uh, it belonged to the committee of the CRS Italian chapter. Uh, and so I would like just to invite you with uh, clapping your hands and just to dedicate to the work that was carried out by these, uh, our beloved colleagues in the work that was carried out by the CRS committee. And so please, if you agree, just to send a big ciao to the... Sorry, uh, you know, it's not easy. Sorry. And uh, at the very end, I would like just to remind the next meeting, the next workshop, because uh, life go on, of course, is not easy for a lot of us that share part of this, uh, I mean, career with ED. Sorry. The next uh, workshop uh, organized by the CRS Italian chapter will be held in Novara. I would like just to invite all, uh, all, uh, all of you. The, the workshop is a dermal and transdermal therapeutic systems. And uh, of course, because of DD, I would like just to invite you for uh, another workshop. It's the 2nd of December in Milan. The argument is toward, uh, towards drug delivery system. When the drug doesn't like the standards, is the, the field in which Didi was really active in uh, her career. And uh, of course, the activity is not so this year, but we, we will continue so the next year. And just I would like to remind in June, uh, the AFI workshop, you know that uh, we have reserved one day for the uh, CRS Italian chapter. And uh, of course, it's a, a, a common appointment, a standard appointment for our community. And uh, at the very end, of course, I would like just to remind the world meeting that will be held in uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, in uh, July. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. And Thank you for believing in the project that, uh, that is, I mean, uh, uh, carried out by the Italian CSS chapter. Thank you again and see you next workshop.